Hi everybody, welcome to our eBay channel where we thrift and then uh, show you what we got and we'll go over how much we paid and then some comps that we found and we'll probably do a scroll of things sold. Uh, we hit a couple different thrift stores today, the Goodwill and a local store here in Ohio, um, uh, Restore It or something like that, I can't remember the name of it, but we'll go over a few things. We did pretty good today, this is our first video. And I think we did well enough that we thought we'd maybe come and uh, try to shoot a little video and see if we can help other people. All right. So, not really sure what's in which bags here. So we'll just start wherever. This is a pretty good little find. My fiance actually found this one. And how's that looking in the shot? Looking good there? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is a Belgian waffle maker, Toastmaster. And it's a little older. We uh, picked it up for $4.99 at a Goodwill, as you can see the tag there. And some of the comps on it were in the $60 to $80 range, I believe. If I'm right about that. Hopefully I'm not moving too fast there. Get better at giving you guys kind of a look at that. Yeah, a little waffle maker here. Cool. Alright. Next thing up is these little brass candle holders. Looks like they probably reflect light. You might be able to float some water in there, and then you put a little tea candle in there. And they're brass. We've sold some brass recently. It sells really well. These are kind of cool looking. They probably cast a nice star kind of like light against the wall. They probably bounce around a little bit. But yeah, 99 cents on these. Probably, I don't know anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks on them, which is not bad for a dollar into them. Um, this will probably be for a home collection, because we really love Halloween around here. It's like our favorite. But for 99 cents, in the Goodwill aisle, it's another one you could put a little light inside of, but it's super creepy. Little creepy cat. Pretty awesome. Won't be selling. This will go in the home collection. Oh, let's see here. This is something I picked up. It's kind of odd. It's a uh, little wood with a wood well with a paper clip there in it. If you've seen that kind, this kind of well before, it's it, it's a clothing brand that uh, has a similar kind of looking well to this. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. It will probably go on eBay, and it probably will be strange enough to sell to somebody. But I put 99 cents into it, and you know, probably a home craft kind of item that someone did, but I thought it was cool enough to pick up for 99 cents, and we always like to pick up little wood items. Uh, 99 cents, I'll probably get, I don't know, 10 to 15 bucks out of it if I'm lucky, but I thought it was cool, and definitely different. I always pick up different if I can, just because if it's out there and no one's seen it, it's a good chance somebody will want it. Alright, welcome back to our eBay thrift show here. Um, guy beside one fern <laughs> okay uh, a little bundle here it was 99 cents a few little ceramic items um, these little things can sell and if I can pick up four or five or six of them in here and you never know you can look around and you can't always tell but they will occasionally be like a little gem in these because they'll have so many small items they'll lump them all together and it might take a while for some of them to go some of them look Christmassy, which I would suggest picking up Christmas stuff this year since with COVID it's going to be difficult for people to get out into stores and buy that stuff like they normally would. So I think the online market for that's going to be really good. So I'm already starting to trend that way and picking up small, cheap kind of Christmas stuff that's still quality because I think it'll sell come September, October, November in that range. But yeah, 99 cents looks to be about seven pieces in there. We'll break that down. We'll look to see if there's any gems in there. If not, each piece could go anywhere from two to three to ten bucks. Might not be a lot of money, but it's a little inventory that we can put out there. A little bread and butter chum. It'll keep stuff come, keep money coming in. Um, oh, up next this really cool, nice blanket which we had the lady wrap a ceramic in. So I'll take that out first. Fair and bone. I can't remember the name of it, something like that. The tag's around here somewhere. 
We picked it up for two forty nine, and we have sold one of these before. It's incredibly soft, really nice. I like the nice dark green color. I think it'll photograph well. You know, something like that you might want to keep in mind because things photograph better and they show up better on images, and you're more likely to sell them. But yeah, this has like nice, rich, dark kind of green and blue in there. And um, look at that name again, Farabo. So yeah, these are really nice and comfortable. Um, a little Hot Wheels. So there's a million Hot Wheels in there, and this is like contemporary, newer Hot Wheel. But if you look at it, we recently sold one. It's a really cool little um, wheelchair, like a X Games stunt bike wheelchair, which I've never seen before. I think it's got to be kind of rare. We had the last one for maybe a few days, and it sold. And we went back to the same Goodwill, and they actually had two more, but someone had taken out the um, the uh, wheelchair out of the other other package. So I just picked up the one, and you know, this might be like six to ten bucks somewhere in there for a dollar, and we know it'll move fast, so we went ahead and picked it up. But I think it's really cool. Uh, telephones. We have sold some telephones. Telephones in the past that we've sold that have done well have been the big number telephones. I think mostly older folks tend to buy the phones still, as you would imagine, and they like the ones that have the, um, the, uh, where you can s assign the numbers to them, and I even sold one that actually had pictures of the person. You could put pictures of the person that you wanted to call in the spots and that one sold really quick for like 80 bucks and I think we got it for like four bucks or five bucks and um, this is not one of those big big number ones but it does have a voicemail on it and we looked up a few comps and some of these ones with the voicemail on it um, we're going for like I think it was like 60 bucks or something like that so we put five into this which is decent to put into it I mean it, it might sit around it might not the last phone we had sat around for less than a month, so this might not sit around either. Um, really nice phone, five bucks, goodwill. Uh, what do we have? Picked up a set of these. It's um, these are newer, but they have the older kind of Pepsi logos. This wasn't at Goodwill. This was at the Restored Shop, and it's thirty nine cents. A piece. I picked up two of them. Probably put five dollars on each. Some as a set for ten. But the graphics are really cool. These older kind of lady graphics. The frosting on the the glass was kind of nice. And it doesn't look like anyone used them. They probably kept them as display pieces themselves and then got donated. So yeah, thirty nine cents for both. You know, forty cents a piece, eighty cents for the two of them. And I'll probably get ten bucks, five bucks each out of each one. They shouldn't sit around too long. Uh, Coca-Cola, typically you run across Coca-Cola a lot, a lot more Coca-Cola stuff out there, less of the Pepsi-Cola stuff, but with less of it being out there, there's a better chance that it'll sell quicker, I believe. A lot of Pepsi fans out there. Alrighty. That one. And this is just that one's mate. It's going to go as a pair. Better to sell cups and mugs and stuff like that as a pair. Although I think that it is trending up to start picking up um, individual mugs depending on the kind of content and what's on there. I mean, if you find something like anything Starbucks, no matter what it is, pick up the Starbucks. Starbucks tends to sell really well and really quickly. Oh, <laughs> uh, I believe this is brass. And it's a bunch of like electrical outlet covers and stuff. We picked up for two ninety nine. It's incredibly <laughs> heavy, but they're all still in really good shape. Um, somebody probably did some remodeling and took off some of the fixtures, but then somebody else remodeling in a different style might want to use this. And for two ninety nine, and with how heavy they are, I think real quality. I mean, these things would last a lifetime on anybody in anybody's house. So I mean, two ninety nine. We'll probably put them up at around twenty five bucks and see where they go. They're kind of heavy, so the shipping might be um, kind of large on them, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, 
another really cool piece. Looks like um, never been used here. A little Disney picture frame, an ornate, and still in really good condition. And I'm surprised that this um, got donated, but you never know. It's got so many of the characters. There's Hercules, Cinderella, Bambi, Lady and the Tramp, Pocahontas. There's just a bunch of really cool little characters on there. I don't know how well you can pick up any of those. There you go. Oh, back to the Christmas theme. This looks like it was probably Walmart or Target. Um, we actually picked up a reindeer that looked similar, so we're going to probably try to pair them together and sell them as a set, but this is just like a little ceramic cookie jar. Well, you know, again, going with that Christmas theme that it's going to be harder for people to get out this year, and it's going to be harder for them to pick up Christmas items. Um, they're going to buy them online. You could be that person that supplies those items. So, yeah, uh, $1.99 in for the set. We'll probably ask 30 bucks for the set. So, 4 bucks in, 30 bucks out, $26 profit after running less after fees and stuff. But not too, not too bad. Not too bad on that. What do we have here? Oh, okay, cool. So, most thrift stores have a case where they keep their jewelry and pens and items they feel to be worth a little more. Sorry, I've got a drink here. That is what it is. Mm, cold. But yeah, here we go. A couple American flag pens. And so, the thing here to look for is uh, 99 cents on the, on the cost. Um, only two... <laughs> sorry. Only two pens in this one. Um, but if you look at this, this one is the American flag with the Twin Towers in the background. So, I don't know if that was done after 9-11 and tribute, or if that was done before 9-11. I would imagine probably after, but there are a section of people out there that are going to want this, and... If you're a New Yorker, if you're an Americana enthusiast or a historian, this would be a cool pen to have, just to have. And the other one, just a kind of a simple little American flag. I'd open. Let me open this one up. That's uh, the Twin Towers with the American flag in front. Because I thought that was, I thought that was really cool. I grew up in that age range. I was really young. I was in my teens when 9/11 happened. It's a really formidable kind of like moment and everyone's life but yeah so I think that might be interesting but for 99 cents in the American or the Twin Towers ones I'll probably put up for about 20 bucks this one will go up for about five I imagine they'll, they will both sell um, how long on them we've been selling probably a pen a month maybe so maybe maybe more maybe a couple pins a month uh, the other one was this one that I didn't really get to look at too much I'm not I don't beat me up on this, but I'm not sure what these are stand for. It looks like a military thing, some sort of thing you would get in the military and put on a jacket or a coat or something. But that was there, and I thought that was pretty cool. Another little pin here. Toledo, Ohio. We're in Lima, Ohio, so... That's pretty close. And this looks just like some sort of little coin. I haven't got a chance to investigate it very much. It just kind of came up. Anyone knows what any of that is about. It looks probably either, it looks military. There's a little bald eagle. There's a clipper ship in the background. Just really cool looking little coin. And we pick these up cheap. We pick them up in bundles and then we piece them out. And so we pay a dollar or two for the package or for the bundle, and then each piece is going to go for more than we picked up on the bundle. So once we sell the first piece, everything after that is going to be profit. Here's a cool one, a little American flag, and that looks like it was been stitched or yeah, it looks like somebody stitched that together or something. But it's another pen there. American flags are always awesome, right? Pretty cool. So yeah, a couple bucks into those. Sell one pen, the rest is all profit. They do sell. Not everything is going to be a huge game winner, but you need to keep making sales. You know, do it as a business. Um, let's see. Set these aside. Those are cool. 
Ooh, did this last, maybe? It was close to last. Picked up a plush. We don't pick up a ton of plush, but we comped this plush, and it was going for 30 bucks. And um, which one is this? Bashful from uh, one of the dwarves from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. People love their Disney. People attach to different movies for different reasons. This particular size and this particular plush was going for 30 bucks, and we got him for 99 cents. He was really well done and really clean still, so we went ahead and picked him up. Should sell pretty decently. We'll let you know when he does. Okay, so these were awesome. I got really lucky on these. I don't know why there were three of them there. I don't exactly know what happened. But this checks your fat index, your BMI, I believe. Somehow by holding on to those two sides there. And um, fat loss monitor is what they're saying it is. And we paid up a little bit. <laughs> I guess $5.99 for me is paying up a little bit, especially if I'm buying three of them. But when we comped them, I mean, 70 to over 100 bucks on each one, and some of those were out of package. And we have three in package. I have no doubt that we could sell them for $80 a piece, and they're going to go fast because they're selling every day. So $5.99, and we, like I said, we have three of them here. I'm not sure how they ended up there to restore it. I mean, if somebody's closed down a, um, you know, a, a gym or a, some place that sells athletic equipment. But the comps on them were amazing, and I'm so happy to have found these. These are awesome. So I guess if you find them, and the brand is Omron, <laughs> Omron, and uh, so yeah, those are cool, right? I've never seen them. I didn't know anything about them. I saw that they were in package. I read what they were, and I was like, well, that's probably good for right now. And yeah, the uh, the comps on them were amazing. So so happy. This made you know my whole day. And last but not least, well here, <laughs> one quick little uh, polo, polo shirt, Ralph Lauren. We got this, awesome. That orange is sweet. It's got the raised lettering on there. It's got the three. It says Great Britain. It's got your polo guy here. Super sweet. These were at 75% off. We paid. So 499 plus 75 percent off, and so not too much into it, and it should sell relatively quickly. And it's a cool shirt. It's nice and bright and vibrant, especially like spring summer shirt. That should go. All right, what's next? Last thing for today's haul. Oh, hold on, wait. Um, <clears throat> a clock, and I don't know much about this clock, and. It just looked kind of cool. This embroidered background with the clock I've never seen before. Um, some little saying on the back of here. I'm not gonna deal with, but I don't know. I, I think that's pretty cool. Looks like you can open this and turn the dials in the hands. All right, so yeah, we were on bread makers so before we battery our uh, memory went out there. Um, so a well built. Uh, we looked at some of the comps on this. Again, probably somewhere between eighty and hundred bucks. We got five ninety nine going into it, and again, bread makers are flying off the shelf right now. So if you could find some at your local thrift store, get on eBay, sell them. Um, thanks for watching. We'll uh, probably do some recent solds on here after this, and appreciate you tuning in. Uh, until next guy. Until next time. <laughs> appreciate it, guys. Okay, so here we're going to do a few of our recent sold items. This one here is a vintage 90s Fall Creek jean denim jacket, uh, Varsity Bomber style. Um, we bought this for $0.25 cents at a local thrift store, and then we were able to turn around and we sold it for 20 on a best offer. Uh, here we have a little burnt wood um, craft kind of at home item someone did and it looks like we paid a dollar ninety nine for it and then we sold it for twenty bucks
And here we have a plaid green orange vintage tweed herringbone blazer. This is another one that we picked up at a really cool thrift shop locally, and they have these 25 cent racks. I picked this up on the 25 cent rack, and then it sold for 31.20. This is a bread maker we picked up at the same thrift store and we picked it up for $3.99 and uh, during COVID they've been selling really well. This one went for $1.75 and I think we had it for about 48 hours. So if you find bread makers, it's always good to try to sell those. This is a three piece thing that we sold and I think it probably went to some sort of antique shop or a collection and I'm not sure what all we had into it. I'd say roughly about three dollars or so four dollars maybe and it sold for forty seven dollars plus shipping all right here we have the pens you've heard me talk about the pens we got these in a bundle we had about six pens in the bundle i paid a dollar ninety nine this one actually ended up being 14 karat gold I'm not sure how that kind of slipped past the store but um we had it for about a month and it sold for forty five dollars so yeah, that was a good flip. I am, hold on one second. <laughs> I am just, I am drenched over here. 